Baby, you don't know what you do to me Between me and you, I feel like chemistry I won't let no one come Hi, like so it's I'm Alexandria Long and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So as you guys can tell from today's title, we are going to be going no budget hygiene shopping. So I want to start off by saying I know I have been gone for a while, you guys. I have really just been figuring out life. I have my own jewelry company. I've been in school. I've been like just working on myself recently, but I really want to get back on my posting grind because I know it's the last time I posted a video. I was going to be back and then I didn't come back. We're going to leave that in 2022. And 2023, we better be consistent, for real. Um, Starting now. So, I decided that my new posting day is going to be Sundays because beforehand, I had tried to make it a day during the week, but then I just had too much going on. So, you know, we're going to make it Sundays. But I'm really excited because I have not been hygiene shopping in a while. And the reason this is going to be a no-budget video is because, like I said, like I just said, I have not been shopping in a while. So, I need to restock a lot of my products. So, I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna cap myself. I'm just gonna go ahead and like get what I need to get and then just keep it tugging because like I would rather get it and have it than to like, you know, limit myself and then I don't have it if that if that makes sense. You guys understand what I'm saying? But anyway, if it's not your first time here, welcome back. Welcome to the first video of 2023. I contemplated if I wanted this to be the first video of 2023 because I have like two pre-recorded videos that I recorded literally last year in like November. But then I was like, I don't know if I really want to use that because like old year, old energy. But I, so I didn't even like edit the video. So if they make it to the internet, they might. We'll see, I guess. I don't really know if they will, but um, yeah so without further ado let's just get right into this video so my first stop you already know you already know it's my bae it's Target it's Target okay because this is my favorite store okay um well one of them but I'm gonna be going to Target we're gonna be going to Dollar Tree we're gonna be going to like this store called Miss A if you don't know what Miss A is basically it's like Dollar Tree but it's like normally in malls and stuff and then i'm also going to be going to walmart and i'm going to try to get all this stuff before i have to go to work today so let's get ready to it because i'm very excited okay let's go to start bye target 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 all right let's grab a basket because we're gonna need it here we go Okay guys, so I know I came to Target to hygiene shop, but every time I come to Target, I have to give me some Izzy's. If you don't know me, get to know me because I love Izzy's. They're super good. If you haven't tried them, you should definitely try them. The Clementine one is the best one to me. I've had the apple one. It was okay. I've never had the mango or like the lemonade or blackberry, but I really like this and I have to have it. Okay guys, so I want to give you a little outfit of the day because I love my outfit okay so i have like this cute little two-piece set that i actually got from target it has sasha on it you know from the brats because sasha is that girl she's my favorite brat when i was little still is my favorite brat but anyway it's a cute little top and then the pants you can't see them, Can you see them? they're like okay, down there. that's probably better right yeah yeah then y'all know we got the crocs on because if you ain't crocking you ain't rocking i know that's right and the necklace is actually from my own jewelry company called nosy girl jewelry if you want to get this necklace it's actually on sale now it's a part of our valentine's day collection that just came out yesterday i'm filming this on the 27th my collection came out on the 26th so i'll go ahead and clink clink click the link below and i'll show you but let's get started so every time like i said i come to target i I get a little bit out of control. I don't know what it is about Target, but it just like, it fuels something in me. Okay, so I made a list today. Like I said, I'm not going based off a of budget. I'm just going based off what I need. So I made this little list on my phone and then like I cut it out. It looks a little ratchet, but that's okay. Cause a little ratchetness is always good. Okay, so this is all the stuff I need and I grouped it by like stores. So this is my Target list and I have my Dollar Tree slash Miss A list. And then I have everything else. I just don't know where I should start. Because there's a lot of stuff I need to get. So, you know what? Let's just go ahead and go to, like, the body wash, body care aisle. And we'll start there. Oh, my gosh. It's so beautiful. Look at all this stuff. Oh, my gosh. I love it. I love it. I love it. You guys, when I tell you I'm loving all of this stuff. Oh, my God. I'm going to scream. But I can't scream because I'm in Target. But I love it. All right, you guys, so we're gonna start off with body wash. So the first thing I need to get is this Dove Sensitive Skin Body Wash. This is the 
new bottle they have because before the bottles used to look like this and like some of them still look like that as you can tell but they're making they're like changing the design of their bottles so this is going to this and then let me see oh yeah so and then this bottle is like the new design bottle for the regular size and they used to look like this so i really love this product this is my favorite body wash like i've tried other body washes i love other body washes too but this one is my absolute favorite holy grail i will never let this go and i love it but yeah i need to get one i don't know if i should get this one or if i should get the big one because like i said i really like it i use it every single day like even if i use other uh, other i'm sorry i can't talk i'm too excited even if i use other body washes i also use this one and this one y'all i want to point out i have this at home right now so i'm not gonna grab one but i do have one of these in like this size at home right now i love this body wash it's really good for winter time because it keeps your it keeps your skin moisturized so if you want something that's good for sensitive skin but you also still want to have like that nice like vanilla smell this is good because i feel like vanilla it's either you really like it or you really hate it but this scent is just so oh, it's so good you guys so i gotta figure out which one of these i'm gonna get because it looks like it got higher too like it used to be like eight something now it's 9.99 but still it's it's worth it i'm gonna be so for real with y'all it's so worth it i just noticed when i was looking at it that they made it smaller so this is 30 ounces and this is 34 ounces so probably gonna get this one probably okay guys now moving on to soap like like i told you i absolutely love dove It's literally my favorite thing in the world my favorite soap i will never turn my back on it because i love it that much if you're looking for something that's like unscented good for your skin it's not gonna dry you out the dove sensitive skin is literally the best thing you can get what i'm telling y'all this oh my god i love it i absolutely love it i wouldn't trade it for anything in the world like but i have some at home so i don't really know if i should buy some more but at the same time i love having the soap so i want to buy some more so <sighs> let me think about it let me think about it but anyway like i said i love the dove like body i love the whole dove care line um i've never really had issues with anything um because i do have like acne prone and then like really sensitive skin like eczema and some other skin issues but this little dove like body love moisture boost line is really good as well they don't have the one i want because they have like they have four different ones so they have the acne clearing one which is green they have the moisture boost one then they also have a purple one and a red one i guess the purple one's normally right here and the red one's normally right here the purple one is my absolute favorite one but they don't have it but i'm not gonna worry about getting another one because i have one in my shower right now that i'm not completely done using yet so yeah okay guys so next up i'm gonna move on to body polishes so when i tell y'all this this is the holy grail y'all when i remember when i first discovered this like when i first started hygiene shopping i didn't let this go like this had a chokehold on me it still has a chokehold on me it's so good for really sensitive skin like my top two favorite scrubs these are dove um body polishes and then like tree hut body scrubs but tree hut can be a little bit abrasive on the skin so i like to use tree hut you know more like on my legs like underarms but if you're trying to use this like sensitive parts of your body this is really really good i don't know if i want to get this one or if i want to get the pomegranate one i absolutely like i said i love this one but i wanted to try the pomegranate one for quite some time now and they only have one left so i think that's god telling me hey alex you should get it but i don't know i don't know i gotta think about it something i've wanted to try for a while that i've seen a lot are these dove like body wash reusable bottles so basically like you know it goes in the it goes in the bottle sorry they're stocking in target i don't know if that's loud or not but um so you basically just get these like you buy this and then you just buy the refills to refill it but i don't know i guess it's like it's it's good for the planet and whatnot but i don't know if i want to just keep buying the refills i would rather just you know come buy a new bottle but that's just me personally like like i said i'm not against it it's just like eh, you know i literally forgot about this dove this dove is really good too when i tell y'all in the summertime oh my god this is like my everyday body wash with the sensitive skin one. Oh, you smell so good y'all like you don't even have to put any perfume on like i'm telling you if you just put this and then you put that you just smell fresh like it's crazy it's crazy i'm a little bit upset right now because one of the products that i wanted to get i don't see it here so i might have to go to a different target depending on how much time i have but i wanted to get the dove like body butter it's like a pre-cleanse shower butter and i really like to use that i haven't had it in a while because it's kind of expensive but it's so good when i say how dove has a chokehold on me dove has a chokehold on me and it's not letting go and i'm never letting it go because it's, it's she's just that girl i'm sorry that's really the truth that's really the truth okay okay guys now we're gonna do a 180 
and come over to the shaving side okay so when it comes to like shaving and you know razors stuff like that i feel like everyone is different but i feel like there are some recommendations i could give people who you know just looking for something to start with so if you're looking for a really good like shower gel or shave gel sorry shave gel i love the satin care line this is a very good line when i first started hygiene shopping i used to use this all the time and i still use it now like i and it just lasts for a really long time it's only two dollars and 39 cents very good quality i love it and if you're looking for something you know to like just keep this one is very good too the sensitive skin one they're both really really good so i'm just saying skin Timon is also a very good brand i've never tried just dry skin one i would actually love to try this because you know it's like colder now my skin is a little bit more like eczema prone and just prone to dryness at the moment but i really want to try this but i have tried this one i love it i oh my guys when i got this i used the whole bottle as quickly as possible because i kept using it whenever i had to shave when it comes to razors i've heard mixed opinions about the intuition razor because some people say it's really really good some people say it's really really bad i haven't had like the guts to actually try it i've wanted to try it for a while like during the holidays when they have the holiday set i want to buy it but then i'm like what if i don't like it that's like a waste of my money but yeah i'm trying to make smart decisions in 2023 life-wise and money-wise but another one i've been wanting to try is also this avino positively smooth shade gel i love avino i have other products by avino and we're gonna see some when i go pick some up later today but i've never tried this one but i've heard really good things about it same thing about the eos shaving creams those have nothing but like rave reviews i have been wanting to get a razor for my face to like you know shave like that stubble off and stuff um so i read about these right here the schnick hydro silk touch-up razors because i normally just go to like you know marshall's or um burlington stores like that to get them but i've heard good things about this one so i want to try these so i'll think about it Okay guys, so like I said, when it comes to shaving, that is a very complex topic. But when it comes to razors, that's an even more complex topic, especially when you are a sensitive skin girly. So I have done trials and errors and I'm here to tell you what you should be using if you have sensitive skin and what you shouldn't be using if you have sensitive skin from personal experience. Okay, let's get it, let's get it. Okay, so first up, we have this brand right here. I really don't know how to say this, Salil, Salel, Big, I don't, I know it's like by big but this is supposed to be like you know the woman's brand like of big but anyway that's besides the point so i feel like this is a good introductory razor but it's not something i would recommend using all the time because for me personally when i used it it's like it worked but it wasn't really giving me as close of a shave as i wanted but that could be too of like the type of blade you use like if you use a five blade if you use a four blade i feel like a good introductory blade is like a three like blade so see like up here we have the different types of blades this one right here is very good this used to be my number one like go-to razor before i discovered something i liked better but this is a very good razor the venus like three razor if you're just trying to you know get rid of some stubble you don't want to like super cliche but you want to like gone this is really really good and if you go down here these little big razors this is what i started with when i first started shaving just like these disposable razors they work very well you just gotta be really careful with these because you can cut yourself really easily with them but speaking from personal experience the skin cement razors i've never tried those because i've heard people talk about them and not good things so you won't catch me buying those i'm sorry but i have heard i don't know if you guys know if you're watching my video you might like hygiene videos and maybe you just click on it but there's this really um good youtuber her name is chloe yasmin she does hygiene shopping videos i love her channel so much but i heard i saw her talking about like this razor in one of her videos and um i really want to try it but it is kind of expensive it's 15 dollars, but it comes with two cartridges and this one is supposed to be like specifically you know for your your downstairs area and so i kind of want to try it but i'm not really 100 percent sure yet but venus as a brand i have like that brand i haven't had bad experiences with them but i've also been wanting to try their wax their shave cream like this like new shave cream because this came out like last year a couple months ago but the flamingo razor i've heard good things about that one too once again a lot of products i want to try i tried to limit myself this year because last year and then like late 2021 i went crazy with hygiene i was like buying hygiene shopping stuff like back to back to back which i'll probably do this year but you know I'm trying to control like what i'm actually buying a little bit more but something i have wanted to try for a while is this tin skin it's supposed to be for you know like ingrown hairs razor bumps like when you shave or wax and i've really been wanting to try it i've only heard good things about it never anything like negative about it i've read good reviews on it but it is really expensive because it's like 20 dollars. so we might not be getting that today but it is definitely on the wish list 
I don't know if I'll be getting it today, but I have been wanting to try Method Body Wash for so long, you guys. Like this like coconut rice milk shea butter one smells so good. So does this chamomile blue lavender starflower one and this like a key berry. This berry that you see this in the store because I think it's just, I don't know if it's really, really good and people just keep buying it, but there's, no, there's literally only one left. Um, so what does that tell you? What does that tell you? All right, you guys, now that we're done on this aisle, we're gonna head over to the skincare aisle to pick up some skincare essentials that I need. All right, you guys, we have transitioned to the skincare aisle. It's looking a little bit empty, but it's okay, because we're gonna just get right into it. All right, you guys, so as I mentioned, I am on the skincare aisle. I'm getting a little bit of social anxiety, just like slightly, because there is a lot of people in Target today. Um, but it is a Friday, so I guess that's just normal because you know, people are out of school, people are getting off work. My eyebrows look really good. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. But, anyways, these last couple of weeks, I really, or I guess this last month or so, I've really been trying to focus on taking care of my skin. I don't know if you guys can tell because I do have on makeup, but I've been putting a lot of work into my skin. Like, it's not exactly where I want to be, but it's so much better than it was before, and I'm so proud of myself. But part of that is because I have been taking care of my skin using products that actually work for my skin. Like I said, I have acne prone, eczema. Uh, skin, dry skin, comb slash combination skin. It's just a lot going on there. So I went to the dermatologist a little while ago. I actually just talked to her about my eczema about a month ago, almost two months ago, because I do have eczema on my hand. I have it on my shoulder, like stomach. I have it pretty much on many areas on my body, but um, I've discovered some products that really work for me and I'm excited to dive into that and show you guys what's up. So let's go. Actually, there's no one on this aisle, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do it for you. So first up, I love CeraVe, you guys. So to begin, first of all, I used to use this cleanser right here. It's not like, is this the one I used to use? Yeah, I used to use this cleanser because I used to think that I had combination skin and I feel like during the summertime, my comp my skin is combination like, but during the like colder season, it's like very, very dry and really like the eczema flares up really badly. So I used to use this one, nothing like wrong with it. I just had to transition because I felt like it wasn't really doing anything for me personally. Like it wasn't making my skin better, but it wasn't making my skin worse either. So I was like, I'll just keep using it. But then I went to the dermatologist and she recommended this one to me. And y'all, when I tell y'all, I love this. So they have two different ones. So they have this one, they have this one, but then they also have this one right here so the only difference between these two is that this one is cream to cream to foam like hydrating facial cleanser and this one just regular hydrating facial cleanser when i used this one i didn't like this one that's why i had to use the other one instead but i started using this one not too long ago based off like a recommendation that my dermatologist gave me and yo this is it so i had like it's like i don't really see a size comparison that they have but it's basically like a bottle that look it kind of looked like this is the eye makeup remover i didn't even know they had this it says new i'm i want to try this low-key but anyway i'm sorry i'm rambling but i want to tell y'all this stuff is the truth like it makes your skin feel so good it doesn't dry you out it cleanses your skin without like making your face look i don't know it's just i really really like it um it is very expensive though i literally just went around the corner and grabbed this bottle because the only bottle they had was this one right here so see like the size difference so this one is $12.79 this gigantic one right here is like $13 and I would rather just pay the dollar difference and get this one it is really expensive but like I said I really really like it I know it works for me so I'm not afraid to spend that high amount of money on it you know what I mean so yeah I definitely have to get this I know I'm gonna give you guys a haul at the end but I'm letting y'all know right now I have to get that because I need it and we're gonna put these back But yeah, besides that, when it comes to moisturizing my skin, I, I like to keep it simple. Like I like to do my facial cleanser. I like to use something called bio oil. And then I like to use um, the CeraVe hydrating like facial lotion. So I don't really see any over here. The only one I see that they have is this one, which is $6, which I actually got this one when I was trying it out and I really, really liked it. And it lasted me a good while, I would say. Or they have this gigantic one over here which is a pump and this one is $15 so we're talking about like $30 just on like moisturizer and skincare it's a little bit crazy I'm not gonna hold y'all but um would I rather just spend the money now so I don't have to you know worry about it later or like worry about running out of it yes but at the same time I really like this little one because I like to carry it with me like I don't know because like if I get the big if I get the big cleanser I should get the big moisturizer too huh I feel like I should I probably should I probably should. I don't know. I gotta think about it. I gotta think about it. 
Look at all this CeraVe. Isn't it pretty? It's pretty. Okay, guys, so I came to the lotion aisle. It's it's not giving what it's supposed to be giving right now. So um, we're probably definitely going to have to go to another Target. um, Because this just ain't going to work for me. I'm frustrated because I'm looking for the bio oil and I can't find it. But I did find this Aveeno Exa... Exa this Savino Eczema Therapy Body Balm, and I really like this, but I don't want this. I like the little ones. I don't want to get this gigantic one because this one is like $20, and I'm already spending like $30 just on my skincare stuff. So um, we're going to put this back for now, but I don't see my bio oil, and I don't see the tiny version of this. So we definitely going to have to head out because this is not the vibe. It's not the vibe. I was totally kidding because I just found it. It's literally... This is the most inconvenient spot to put the bio. I hate, bro, bio oil used to be like non-popular. Like I remember my mom first introduced it to me when I was in like sixth grade, or maybe seventh. It was like when I was in junior high. Like it was definitely before high school. But anyway, I remember people started talking about it and started getting popular. So now they literally hide this in the store. Like why is it all the way down here? Why is it all the way down here? That's crazy. But um, it's not gonna stop me from getting it. Okay. Y'all, this little bottle, is twelve dollars <laughs> what this used to be like eight dollars i'm telling y'all it's ridiculous but it's so good so i need to have it i don't even have that much stuff in my cart but everything i have is low-key expensive so i'm really scared to go check out if i'm being super honest with you guys i'm scared i'm not gonna lie no keep walking keep walking okay guys so i'm currently on the baby aisle because i was gonna go to walmart and get some fragrance free wipes and i was like let's just cut out the middleman and just try to find some here because that's sort of the only thing i was gonna get from there so let's find some i'm too happy to be here like for real okay guys so as you can see there's a lot of options so these right here these fragrance free cloth like baby wipes i've actually used these before and i really really like them i bought them in like a travel size a long time ago but they're like the target brand of like fragrance free baby wipes and i actually really like them but i'm trying to get something that's like flushable but i'm not seeing anything like flushable like <sighs> if i can find something to see like they all say like do not flush do not flush do not flush if I can find something that's flushable, that'd be cool. <gasps> Look, flushable wipes. I've actually used this brand before. It's so cute. I love it. It's very nice. The only thing I don't like is like they're kind of thin because I kind of want wipes, you know, that are like they're a little bit thicker, but you know, they are like made for babies. So, you know what I mean? Like, but I like the sensitive, like, care. What is this? Oh, look, they have an off brand flushable toddler wipes. Stop. How much are these? <gasps> this is $3.59. Oh, this is $3.59. Y'all. Flushable toddler wipes. 359 for 144 wipes. Ooh, might have the cop. Might have the cop. Or they also have these huggies, like sensitive and fragrance free wipes. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Should I get. Ooh, should I do both? Mmm. Decisions, decisions. You guys, look at all the baby hygiene products. They're so cute. I love them. This is so cute. Oh, they're so adorable. I love it. But one thing I'm looking for is baby washcloths, and I don't see any. I see, are they supposed to be over here? Like, I see baby nail clippers. I see baby body washes, baby lotions. Look at this Cetaphil baby. Isn't that cute? But I don't see any baby washcloths. But I normally get those at like, you know, discount stores, like, you know, like um, Burlington, Ross, stuff like that. So, yeah, but, oh, this stuff is so cute. You guys, I was about to walk off. And look what I found. Look what I found. The Avino Baby Eczema Bomb. This is what I wanted. And they have two, and that's how many I wanted. I really need to get out of the store, like, actually, because I'm running up my money right now. Like, I mean, running down my money. Oh, the only thing I couldn't find is the baby washcloth. That kind of bums me out a little bit, but it's okay. I'm finally going to the checkout line, you guys, and I'm actually very scared to find out how much I'm about to spend. But it's okay. Self-care. You already know. Another fun fact about me is that I love Legos, and I'm on the Lego eye right now, and it's super stopped. It's such a pretty sight to see. I'm... It's such a pretty sight to see, oh my god. 
I gotta get out of here for real. Okay, let's go. Stop. Stop. Ah, that's so cute. Oh my god. Let's do a video and then, like, I'll take a uh, video. Okay, cool. Uh, oh my god. 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 I just spent the most money in Target I have ever spent in my life at Target. <laughs> It's funny. I'm laughing because it was so much. Fun. It's okay. Literally, look at my car, y'all. The sun's hitting me up. Bye, babe. I'll miss you. Exactly why I should not be allowed to go to Target by myself. It's okay. It's okay. It's fine. You guys, <laughs> I spent so much money. It's okay. It's okay because uh, no, if I'm being so for real, the stuff I got, I did actually really need that stuff because I need to take care of myself and I needed that stuff. So you know what? It's fine. But I spent way longer in there than I planned on, and I have to go get ready for work soon. Luckily, I already washed my uniform, so I really just have to go home and pick it up. But I still need to go to Dollar Tree, and I was gonna try to go to Miss A today, but I don't think I'm gonna make it, and I don't want to like carry this video on until tomorrow so i'm just gonna try to go ahead and get everything that i need from there like from miss a and dollar tree because like i said they're very similar stores like both just like cheap you know inexpensive stores so um hopefully i can find what i need in there but we got to make this dollar tree quick because i gotta literally gotta go in there get my stuff go home get my uniform and then head straight to work and then i'm just gonna change when i get to work but yeah let's go oh we're doing a haul at the end by the way if you don't already know i have made it Okay, so I just made it in here. We went straight to the baby section because that's really all I needed from in here. I wanted to get some washcloths, baby oil, baby oil gel, and then whatever else I end up getting. I'm not seeing the big baby oil I normally like to get, but they do have this one. So I'm probably just going to go ahead and get that because it, it doesn't really matter if you... I noticed like a $3 baby oil and a dollar baby oil, they do the same thing. So like just get a dollar one. But look at these cute little washcloths. They're not as like, what's the word, thick as I would want them to be. So I don't know if I'm gonna pick some up today. I might I'll think about it, cause I don't know. I'll think about it. They're cute though. I came to the body care aisle and it is so well stocked over here. It's crazy. Look at, look at all this stuff. I really wanna try this exfoliating bath cloth. I felt it and it's not like too rough. So I think it would work for me. So I might pick up one. And then I saw these back loofah sponge things i've never seen well i've seen these but like not in this form so i kind of want to try one of those as well i do need a new pair of exfoliating gloves i don't know if i'll get those here though because i normally get them somewhere else but the dollar tree ones are pretty good too in my opinion but this little soul holder right here i feel like i should get one because i had one before i don't really know what happened to it but it's just so you know like you don't have your soap just like sitting in the shower and so yeah oh look they have oh look at the blue one i really like this one Ooh, or the purple i like them all that's the problem Guys, look at all the feminine care. We have so many different types of pads to choose from. Let's start there. Then they also have a bunch of pregnancy tests. If you need that, hey, come to Dollar Tree. Look, they have pocket tampons. Oh, that's really cool. That's really cool. Is how many are in there? Name brand tampons. Like, be for real. Come on. Anyways, they have so many new different kinds of rate. You got. What is this? Triple blade razors at Dollar Tree? Oh, what? Five razors at $1.25? I've never seen this brand. Dollar Tree is stepping up their game, y'all. Oh, look, they have Venus too. Only two blade, but still a really good brand. Look, that one we just saw for men, they also have it for women as well. Okay, okay, I see you. I see you, Dollar Tree. I see you. Look at these. Arm & Hammer Essential Deodorant Towelettes. I've never seen these before. They have Simply Fresh Scent, or they also have a Clear Water Scent. Hmm. I low-key want to try both, I'm being so for real with y'all. <gasps> Look at this. They have Seek. I personally love Seek. It's a really good brand, but they have a secret antiperspirant. What? <gasps> Is this a roll-on deodorant? Stop. Oh, I need one, y'all. Because I'm telling you, I don't know about y'all, but sometimes, I'm going to be so honest with y'all, I like take a shower and like such in a hurry to get out the door that I forget to put deodorant on. 
you know, like after a while you remember and it's like, oh my God, I don't have any deodorant, but I normally try to carry it with me, but this could really help me out. Could really help me out. Dollar Tree has got body butters. Are you being serious right now? What's this? Sage and cedar and uh, rose scented. Probably won't try those, but they look really cool. They look really cool. Well, since I'm passing by it, I actually do need some Q-tips and I need some cotton swabs. I, I just low-key need both. <gasps> Look at these. These are cool. What's this? <gasps> I like that. This would be good for, like, makeup, like, if you're trying to clear something. <gasps> I want one. Should I get them? I kind of want one. So much soap. I feel like the top three, or I guess the most brands you would see here at Dollar Tree are like Dove. They have Dove Men. We got Old Spice. We got Pear. That's like a really old soap. That literally came out like 100 years ago. They also have Yardley, Dove, Dove Sensitive Skin, which I absolutely am in love with. Have to have it. Necessity. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, they have Lady Speed Stick again. I remember this got very popular last summer. I don't need it, but that's cool. That's really cool. Really have been wanting to take better care of like my nails and toes. So I'm gonna learn how to do like manicures and pedicures at home and stuff. So I gotta pick up a couple of things, but I probably won't film it because I gotta figure out what I actually need. So yeah. Let's be back That's secured, y'all. Okay guys, so I just made it back into the car. When I tell y'all, I went crazy today. Like I don't really know what's going on with me but um yeah so i probably i don't know if i'll have time to give you guys a haul today i might just can, the, the lighting is not giving like like it's giving but like at the same time it's like taken away um yeah but i just love dollar tree i am gonna give you guys a haul the haul is gonna be attached to this video i just don't i'll probably have to film it tomorrow because right now i have to go home and get ready for work and so yeah but let me tell y'all it's about to go crazy because look i literally can y'all see y'all can't see it on there i literally got four bags from dollar tree four bags from target like what's that what's that thing on tiktok that was like capitalism popped off today or like something like that you know never mind, never mind. anyway um i'll see you guys when we do the haul which should be in three two one okay guys so it's the next day i'm at home and i was gonna give you guys a haul with me in it but i was like you know what y'all don't want to see me you want to see the product so we're just gonna do it this way so here are all the bags of stuff that i got so we have four bags from target three bags from dollar tree so let's just dive right into it so first we're gonna start with this target bag right here so first thing i picked up were these flushable toddler wipes so i believe i got this whole pack for like three dollars and it's 144 wipes and it's these little it's already open as you can tell because i've already used it but i really really like these they're like the target brand so you know it's what the little like little arrow means like the up and up it's like one of those like off brand brands but it's really really good and i like that they're actually like full towel wipes they're not like you know, I'm going to use this, so don't worry. They're like, look at that. It's like a full towel wipe, you know? It's not like those, like, really thin wipes. I really like these. And I'm glad that there's three packs of them in here because I will be using those. So I'm very excited about that. And then I also got these water wipes for $1.88. So these are, like, on-the-go wipes for, like, your hands and face, I believe. Or just, like, kill germs and bacteria. And I like that. So I got those. And then... I also got these wipes right here. Like I told you on the store, I have tried these before and I actually really liked them. So I went ahead and just got another pack. I think these were like, I want to say a dollar or something, like a dollar fifty. I don't remember because um, I don't have the receipt. But yeah, so that's it for the first Target bag. Next up in this bag, first thing I got was the CeraVe Hydrating Cream to Foam Facial Cleanser. This is my everyday cleanser that I've been using for the last couple of weeks. It works really well. If you have sensitive, like acne prone, eczema prone skin, this would probably work for you because I had tried the hydrating one before and I didn't like it or um so i used to use the other one like i showed you guys previously in the video but when i use the hydrating cream to foam cleanser i really like this one so definitely recommend this was very expensive this bottle itself is 15 dollars, which is so much money but i do really like it i know it works and cerave is quality just like you know so i had to go ahead and get it next thing i picked up 
was the dove body polish like i told y'all in the store i love this body polish so much basically like a body scrub but it's more for catered towards sensitive skin so if you like tree hub but you know maybe tree hub is a little bit too abrasive for you this is probably the body polish for you or body scrub even not even if you still just want to try it i would definitely recommend getting it i believe that was like almost eight dollars so once again kind of expensive but you are paying for the quality and this little tube i think the longest this has lasted me is about three months um it could probably last longer i just really like it so i use it a lot when i'm in the shower but yeah next thing i got was another cerave product so it's this right here the cerave daily moisturizing lotion for normal to dry skin so i don't use this on my body you can't well i use it on my body sometimes but i mostly use it as a moisturizer on my face and it works really really well once again 15 dollars, quite expensive but it does really really work i promise y'all it works so this is my like skincare cerave duo when it comes to like moisturizer and washing my face next thing i picked up was this Aveeno Smooth Shave Gel. Like I told you on the store, I've been wanting to try this for a while. I really like Aveeno. It does wonders for my skin and like the eczema on my skin. So I was like, why not try the shower gel? I'm sorry, shaving gel they have because I've really been wanting to try it for a minute now. Next up from Target, I got the Aveeno baby eczema balm so i use this on my face as well it's like i do like my cleanser and my moisturizer i use this then i use bio oil to like top it all up or I'll do like bio oil before this but anyway i really really like this and this is exactly the size i wanted they have i got two of these i don't know if the other one's in this bag because i know i took one of them out already because i started using it but i really really like this it's a holy girl product for sure next thing i got were these toothbrushes right here so i got them in this color but then i also got them in the pink color so these are the smartly toothbrushes they're just like you know manual toothbrushes i got i've had these in my bathroom right now and i really really like this toothbrush it's very good for your um teeth it's not it's not harsh it's like i just really really like it and they're only a dollar so i went ahead and got the one i got before but then i also got it in the pink color because it was really really cute but yeah i definitely recommend these and they're only a dollar like come on these yes yes what what else are you gonna find for a dollar target like come on anyway next thing i picked up were these facial razors right here so like i said i've been wanting to try some new ones i normally just pick them up from like you know discount stores like tj maxx marshall's anything like that but i did want to try like some name brand ones that see if i could tell the difference and they had this three pack and i believe this pack was six dollars i haven't tried them yet as you guys can tell i'll probably use them today and i'll let you guys know in my next video how they work out for me but yeah i'm really excited to use these the reviews on them are really good so yeah should be fun next thing i got from target was this vaseline advanced repair unscented um lotion i just wanted something to take with me on the go like i have some other tiny products but i try to never be caught ashy okay because when you caught ashy people gonna talk about you so let's not let's not do that okay so i got this one next up i got some lotion for my body and i picked up the jergens ultra healing um extra dry skin moisturizer this is a lotion i've had this lotion before it works wonders for my skin like i like it because it's very moisturizing but it's not greasy on the skin because i feel like sorry y'all my nose stopped i feel like some lotions are like that but this one is not so i really appreciate that next up moving on to the next bag from target i pinned ahead and picked up the dove body wash and i just went ahead and got the big one since they're not gonna make this bottle anymore and like i told you on the store it's a smaller size bottle now it's only four ounces but four ounces is a big difference in my opinion considering it's still the exact same price but i went ahead and got this because like i said i love it have to have it okay here's the other eczema like uh avino baby bomb i got so i just got two because the big one you can get a big one of this but it's like twenty dollars and i didn't want to pay twenty dollars considering you know i had already got the face wash the, th just this was thirty dollars okay just these two things um and this was like ten dollars and these are like almost four dollars i think so i got two so i would rather pay eight than twenty but you know that's just me anyway next thing i got at target was the bio oil like i told y'all i have to have bio oil to give you guys like a size comparison let me see if i can show you guys what it looks like hold on let me open it up yeah so this bottle was almost 13 dollars, and this is the two ounce bottle so let me show you guys what it, it looks just like this and i know you're like alex oh my god like 12 dollars. and i know i know it's expensive it's expensive to me it's a lot of money but when i tell y'all this has worked wonders for my skin like i my skin is in complete like 180 like i had stopped using it before because i didn't have a set routine but i've been using my routine literally has just been like i wash my face with this then i put this on then i put the avena on top of that or or i'll do like this this 
by oil in that to like lock in that moisture and when i tell you it's worked wonders my skin looks great i've i've never I've, my opinion it's never looked so good like that's just me though anyway next up moving on to our last target bag so the last thing i got like i told y'all when i was in there i had to get some izzy so this box is literally gone already because i've already drinking it or drunk it drank it drunken i don't know it's already gone and then I got a second pack, and then I had also got this pack of Gushers right here, which I've already opened, which is why it wasn't in the bag. But yeah, that's everything I got from Target. So now, let's move on to what I got from... Look at all those products. Anyway, go over there. Go over there. Let's move on to what I got from Dollar Tree. So, we'll start with this bag right here. So, first thing I went ahead and picked up was these eyebrow scissors. So, I go and get my eyebrows threaded, but in between, I try to maintain them. Um, I'm kind of scared to do them though, which is why I haven't touched my own eyebrows in a while unless I'm like, you know, doing my makeup with them because I just don't want to mess them up because last time I tried to do them and I did mess them up and I had to wait for them to grow back to go see my lady to have her fix them for me. But, you know, if I ever get risky, there's that. Anyway, next thing I picked up was this right here. So this is just an exfoliating bath cloth. I've been wanting to get one because I love exfoliation gloves, but I've been wanting to see if this would like make a difference. It might be a little bit too rough for my like everywhere skin, but I might use it on like my underarms and my legs, you know, just places where I plan on shaving. Um, next thing I picked up was this back loofah. I got it in a purple color. It's supposed to be the ones, you know, like they just open up and you can wash your back with them. I believe I got that in another color as well. Did I? Oh, I guess I didn't. But anyway, I got another exfoliating bath cloth because I was like, it's only $1.25. And then like I told you, I had wanted to get some baby wash cloths. So I got this little four pack set from Dollar Tree, which are pink and cute, you know, just cute designs. And then I also got, I know I got another one. Did I? Oh, I thought I did. Well, maybe it's in the other bag. But anyway, I did get another back loofah. Like it's in gray though. But anyway. Next thing I picked up was just these little cotton round pads because like I said, this is actually a part of my skincare routine. It's not here, but I use witch hazel on my face occasionally just to like, you know, cleanse my skin. Um, so I use little cotton pads or cotton rounds to like do that. Next thing I picked up were these deodorant wipes because I have never seen them before and it was very interesting to me. So it's by Arm & Hammer and they're basically like, you know, for your underarms to like refresh you. And I feel like I just wanted to get this because, you know, sometimes, like I, like I told you on the store, I don't know if I said this in the video, but sometimes when I leave the house and I take a shower, you know, I'm in such a rush to get out the house that I may forget to put on deodorant. Like, I'm being so honest with y'all. It happens. Nothing but human error. But this is really good because, you know, then you could just, and when you remember, because, you know, like, if you forget, you know, obviously. So if you remember, you can wipe your underarms and just put slap that deodorant on. You know what I mean? So that, Yes. Next thing I picked up were some Epsom salts. So like I told you guys in the store, I have been wanting to take better care of myself, like, and actually do maintenance of myself. And that, is that a stain? That's sauce. Anyway, we're gonna ignore that. Anyway, so like I said, I've been wanting to take care of my feet and do, like, uh, nails, pedicures, I'm sorry, pedicures and manicures. So this is for, like, when I do my pedicures. So I can have some like Epsom salts because I've been wanting to get some for a while, but all the ones that I see are very expensive and they had these for a dollar and 25 and I was like, you know what, I might as well just get these so I can do my feet, you know, pretty close, pretty close. Anything. And then the last thing I got in this bag was a bar of Dove soap because like I told y'all, I love Dove. You can never have too much Dove. I have some of these under my cabinet already, but I just want another one to be along in this haul because yeah, it's a necessity. Anyways. The next thing I picked up was this pack of cotton balls. Like I said, I'm going to start doing my toes and nails, so this is what that's for mainly, but, you know, it can be used for other purposes as well. The next thing I got from Dollar Tree, like I said, I had got two sets of washcloths, so I got this other set right here. They're very cute. They're very, I like that they're rough on one side, smooth on the other side, but they're not, like, rough, rough, you know? They're still, like, pretty soft, and I'm going to wash them before I use them anyway, so... Next thing I picked up were this little pack of tan packs right here. So I feel like whenever it comes to period hygiene, um, I'm never, I'm, I don't know say I'm never prepared. Sometimes I get caught unprepared, so I would like to carry these in my bag and then for other girls too. Because I know some girls, you know, they like to use pads. Some girls like to use tampons. I'm more of a pad girl myself, but I would like to carry these in case of an emergency. And then, you know, just to be able to help a girl out. She's like, hey, Alex, do you have a tampon? I'm like, yeah, I got you. You know, and these are only $1.25. Like for three, I think this is a nice little like carry on, you know, to have. So yeah. Anyway, next thing I got is baby oil. Like I told y'all, I normally get a gigantic bottle of baby oil from Dollar Tree, but they didn't have it. But to be fair, I did get that a long time ago. Cause like when I tell y'all this bottle was big, like is big so but i did get this one which is a dollar i really noticed no difference in like name brand baby oil and regular baby oil because at the end of the day it's still baby oil so like i don't really feel a difference but 
It could just be me, you know? Anyway, next thing I picked up is these Fisher Price wipes right here. These are some of my favorite, like, baby wipes that I've used before. They have no fragrance. They're very soft, and I really like them. And, yeah, I've ran through these a lot, so I was like, might as well get one while I'm here. But anyway, next thing I got is this right here. It's the Derma Antiperspirant Invisible Cooling Gel by Secret. So I've never seen this before, but this is actually like a roll-on deodorant. And this is perfect for me because like I told y'all, like sometimes, you know, you take a shower, you forget to put on deodorant, and then you don't want to be stinking. You know, people like think you stink, but you don't stink. You really just didn't put on deodorant, you know what I mean? So I got this. Yeah, very excited to use that. Anyway, the last thing in this bag is this light pink nail polish. Like I said, I've been wanting to start doing my nails and stuff, so I did pick that up. And then I also got this really hot pink color because, let's be for real, this will look great with my skin. Anything looks good with my skin, but like, this color especially, yeah. Gonna be eating it up for real. Like, actually, though. Anyway. The last bag I got from Dollar Tree, I went ahead and picked up some Q-tips. So whenever I do my makeup, I have like very small eyes, you know, and I find it hard for me to like control where my mascara goes. So like if I put it on, but then I accidentally touch my eye, you know, then it kind of ruins my whole look because I start crying, you know, like my eyes watering. So this helps me out a lot, like having Q-tips to like, you know, poke in the corner of my eye to like stop my eye from running. And when I saw these, I was like, ooh, this is good because now these have little points on them. Like this is going to work out great for me. And the next thing I got was this little nail polish holder. Um, you know, we're like we're excited about to just do my toes and stuff. Then I got this little soap holder for the shower. I had one before. I have no idea what happened to it. So basically, it's just you know to like conserve your soap so it doesn't like you know decay away in the shower. You know what I mean? So yeah. Anyways, next up I got this cute little manicure set. You know, to do my toes. It has a cuticle pusher, a file, um, nail clippers. I have no idea what this is called. What's that called? I don't even know. But anyway. Then I also got these two nail grooming sets, but I just got these two mainly because I wanted the little toe thing. So I got two of those, and these have, like, the nail clippers, cuticle pushers, and pretty much pretty similar things to before. Then I got another pack of the Arm & Hammer, like, wipes I had showed you guys, but the only difference is this is in the clear water scent. These other ones that I had got are in the Simply Flush scent. Yeah. And then... Next up, I got this base coat slash top coat by LA Colors, just so you know, like, do my nails and stuff. And then the last thing I got was this little on-the-go set of clippers and everything. And lastly, I got this pumice stone. So, yeah. Okay, so just to give you guys one last look, this is everything I ended up picking up. It's a lot of stuff, but it's going to be you, so don't worry. I promise you. But yeah, that's it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, make sure to hit that big red subscribe button and become a Lexor because I would love to have you, and I'm sure the other Lexors would love to have you guys as well. If you haven't already, make sure to go check out my brand called Nosy Girl Jewelry. Follow us on Instagram and shop for our Valentine's Day collection that just came out, and I will be posting on Sundays now, so don't forget that. I love you guys, and I'll see you guys next Sunday. Bye. Mwah.